In this video, I will tell you why most American business suits are baggy or poorly fitted. Hi, my name is Michael and this is my kingdom of videos here on YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn or wherever you're watching this. And with over 300 videos, we've been able to help a lot of men find their own style, their own voice. If you're still looking for yours? Let me know in the comments below. Get in touch. I'll be quite happy to help you. So simple answer is this. Prior to 1920s, suits were luxury goods typically worn by men with wealth. Especially bespoke tailoring was the most common method of having suit made and it was extremely expensive. This put suit outside of reach for most people. However, there was still a great deal of demand for suits amongst the middle class and, and workers. Brooks Brothers in America and a couple of others, Clothier as well, sought to tap into this demand by finding a way to decrease the cost of the suit, which they were able to do through mass production. Now, unfortunately, once you start mass production and mass production suits, you now have to worry about making them fit hundreds of men instead of just one. Make two jackets too fitted and you lose potential customers. Make armholes too high, too tight, and you lose potential customers. Make trousers seat too up and you lose potential customers. You get what I'm saying? So to make their suits appeal to the largest possible audience, the mass producers had to cut the jackets wider at the waist lower the armholes and use full cut trousers, right? The intention was to have the suits leave the factory able to fit the broadest selection of men. It was assumed that once a man purchased the suit, they would hire a tailor to make the adjustments for the better fit. However, in practice, many men didn't get the suit properly tailored in order to further save the cost. So over time, Americans, because they cost them to lose the fits, which then they became the fashion and the reason why Europeans generally find American suits ill-fitting. So in essence, historically, American tailors rebelled against British structure style of tailoring. And because the, the suits they were made, they're kind of loose and baggy, it kind of sort of appeared to be the style for Brooks Brothers and other sort of brands around that area. The lasting influence has been the American style continued to be looser and fuller cut than their European counterpart. Either companies such as Hugo Boss cut their suits slightly different, slightly looser for the North American market. So if you are a fan of more fitted style, try sort of any European brands or US brands which specialize in slimmer fit products. Try Suit Supply. You know uh, that I've made a video about Suit Supply and why do I think they are the best ready to wear company in the world. There you have it. That's my take on why American suits don't fit as well and they're kind of looser and baggy fit. The prime example of that is obviously President Trump, but I don't want to get political here, so excuse me for that comment, but it's true. For more videos like this and to stay stylish and keep your mind occupied with style and fashion related things, subscribe and hit the notification bell because I'm going to be producing more and more videos. Stay stylish. Hi, it's Michael Fratzkowiak here. I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you may ask, why should I do that? Well, every week I'll post three new videos focusing on helping you to become a better man. Helping you looking smart, that's all I do. And yes, you will feel uncomfortable and yes, you may laugh at times, but also you're gonna be inspired and motivated. Most importantly, you will get a set of skills that is going to transform your life and your business simply working better. Ultimately, it's going to make you more money. So go ahead, subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my single episodes. And I promise you, you will not regret it.